Oh, we're going to move on to item 6.7, presentation of proclamation designating the month of May 2024, Mental Health Matters Month. Thank you for everyone coming up. Board of Supervisors, County of Lake Proclamation, designating May 2024 as Mental Health Matters Month in Lake County. Whereas mental health challenges are one of the most common health conditions in California, affecting one out of seven adults and one out of 14 youth, and impacting both the person experiencing mental health challenges and those persons who care and love for the person facing the challenges. And whereas one out of every 26 Californians with a serious mental health, health Ill, illness have difficulty functioning in everyday life, and if, felt, and if left untreated, have life expectations 25 years shorter than that of the general population. And whereas every day millions of people face stigma related to the mental health and may feel isolated and alone going years before receiving any help. Whereas recovery can and does happen and all Californians should know that the support and help is available regardless of any individual's financial situation and whereas creating a community where everyone feels comfortable reaching out for the support they deserve is crucial to ending the stigma around the mental health. And whereas access to support and enduring stig and ending stigma is one of the paramount importance. And whereas Lake County Behavioral Health Services wishes to enhance public awareness of mental health now. Now therefore be it proclaimed, the Board of Supervisors of the County of Lake join the Department of Behavioral Health Services and do hereby designate the month of May 2024 Mental Health Matters Month in Lake County. Passed and adopted the 7th day of May 2024 and signed by the Chair of the Board of Supervisors, Bruno Sabatier. I do just want to say how important this is. You know, whether or not it affects every, you know, every family, but it affects uh, my family. I have family members that are dealing with this, and there is a stigma to it. Um, it's a real challenge to make sure that they're getting the medication, the help that individuals need. And one of the largest things is being able to recognize that you do need help uh, through that process and taking the medication that will help you move through that process of seeing success stories and failures uh, when the support isn't just continually given. And it is a challenge. And you see young and old um, relatives. I have these folks that are dealing with these issues. And it's constant support. It's education to let them know that we will not give up on the fight. We're in this together. We love each and every one of them. And understanding that is, is the true benefit of being a family member or a loved one to help someone deal with these issues. And there is a stigma out there that shouldn't be. Each and everybody needs to have, take care of themselves and sometimes everybody needs a little help. So continuing that conversation with each and every one of our family members and community members uh, is really important. Self-medicating is a big issue we have with this, you know, with this illness and getting people to understand that that help is there and to understand that medications can help you through this are really important. So it, it is, it just is paramount that we continue that fight. So I wanna thank Behavioral Health and everyone up here 
because everyone either deals it with somebody they're, they're involved with, uh, whether it's through law enforcement, family, uh, behavioral health services. Uh, we just continue the fight. I want to thank you all for being warriors in this, in this fight. So thank you very much. Hi, everybody. If you don't know, I'm Elise Jones. I'm the director of Lake County Behavioral Health. And this year, again, I am honored and humbled to stand up here with so many wonderful, familiar faces, many of whom I've known and worked with for years. Um, thank you. Uh, if you didn't know, Lake County Behavioral Health and Lake County Probation Department uh, work really well together, and we've both been tackling a lot of the same issues for a lot of years. Um, so, it's, I think we have actually the best county in California, and I think we have the best department, and no offense, respectfully. Um, <laughs> um, in seriousness, though, I also want to, speaking of stigma, you're absolutely right, Moke, and thank you for giving voice to that. And so in an effort to break down stigma every year, it's important for me to say that the best uh, services are usually ran by peers, and I'm a peer myself, so I have depression, I have obsessive compulsive disorder, I have post-traumatic stress disorder, and um, just generally an anxious person. And so the journey for me to get services for mental health has not been easy either. And so I've made it my life's mission, as many of my colleagues up here have, to ensure that people don't struggle to get the help that they need, that there is help available, and that you can get better and recover. It doesn't mean that even somebody like myself doesn't have bad days. I certainly do. Um, but together, we're a lot stronger for it. And I want to honor our staff, um, some of whom are here um, and others who are diligently working in the field for supporting, lifting up the most vulnerable and underserved members of our community. Um, these are folks that are deeply marginalized by society and have few resources. And so for many of those individuals, we're the light in the dark. We're the candle that shines for them um, and we're a lifeline. And I know each and every one of our staff takes that as almost a sacred responsibility to care for those individuals and to make sure that people um, for one, don't lose their life because of a mental illness, and for two, have the ability to live healthy, meaningful, and productive lives, which is what we all want. So again, I want to thank my wonderful staff. Um, I'm humbled. If you didn't know, please also join us this Saturday, uh, uh, the 11th, I believe, from when does it start? At 10 a.m., 10 to 2-ish, yes, for Mental Health Matters Month, we'll have a lot of vendors, uh, a lot of free stuff. Will there be food? We don't know. There, <laughs> but it'll be fun. Um, it's a chance to get outside and share space with your community. Again, we have a wonderful community here that will be at Library Park. Um, and that's all I got. I thank you so much for having us. Does anybody else want to speak? Supervisor Green. Just super quickly, I, I, in addition to the great team members here, we also have a behavioral health advisory board, and I want to acknowledge them and lift them up. They do provide a valuable uh, service uh, to your department and to our community. Thank you. <laughs>